Growing a business abroad is exciting, but potentially risky. Enterprise Europe Network helped us to navigate this uh, new area in uh, Europe and uh, internationally, because uh, this is very uh, dangerous for a small company to do it alone. This is very important for us, how uh, you manage to go out of the crowd. I went to a harness near Athens to meet Aliki Goritsa and Spiros Fragos, both textile engineers. They're passionate about fabric and clothes and founded Pepper Valley in 2011. Hello and welcome to Business Planet. This Greek textiles company uses traditional natural materials combined with cutting edge technology to create smart clothing. Let's find out more. Aliki and Spiros' vision is to design and manufacture high quality, sustainable garments. And they're constantly innovating to make their ideas a reality. Like swimwear that uses cotton instead of lycra or nylon. We try to make innovation that is useful uh, for the wearer in terms of uh, skin safety, uh, for the environment, because every time you go in the sea or you wash uh, your clothes, you have uh, microplastics. And the innovation here is that we have a neat pattern that has uh, holes and it is a 3D structure where the air can uh, circulate and th this makes the uh, cloth to dry uh, easier. Aliki and Spiros are ambitious and teamed up with the EU-funded Enterprise Europe Network, the world's largest support network for small and medium-sized businesses with international ambitions, to produce smart clothing prototypes that monitor biometric measurements. Oh, yeah, so I can see my heart right there. Yes, you can see the electrocardiogram here. Yeah. And here you can see your heart rate, you can see the temperature. So, I'm alive? <laughs> yes, of course. They worked with the Enterprise Europe Network to develop the Feel More Knitwear collection and pinpoint the right international partners. They help us to navigate in this new field uh, for us and also find the right opportunities uh, to go on and effectively promote uh, all our uh, research in other businesses, in other uh, European countries, and uh, also universities uh, to collaborate with. The Enterprise Europe Network celebrates its 15th anniversary this year. Over this time, they've helped some 4.2 million small businesses across Europe. From a sweet company in Latvia, to this Czech firm that developed a beehive that uses the heat of the sun to kill off harmful mites. In Greece, the network supported more than 3,000 SMEs between 2022 and 2023. To find out more about how it works, I met with Mina Paliki from the Athens Chamber of Small and Medium Industries, a member of Enterprise Europe Network since 2008. We support thousands of companies from the textiles uh, and fashion industry. What we're looking for is to find uh, companies that produce something special, innovative, something that can't, could stand out internationally because the competition is fierce. Pepper Valley is a company that combines all those traits that make her stand out. Mina and her colleagues first meet with a potential new member company to decide on the next steps and draw up an action plan. The network then provides help with finding funding, identifying the opportunities of the single market, but also helps companies understand the laws and regulations in other countries and how to choose the right international collaborator. Once a company comes to us and says, I have found a partner, but I'm not sure whether it's the correct partner or not. The network has been very helpful in that because we do have a reliable contact somewhere else we, where we can ask. The network brings together international expertise and local contacts so businesses can get the big picture and step up another level. See you next time on Business Planet.